we continue explaining the bones and we come to the bones of the forearm. We will start with the medial one and that is the ulna. We can see here how ulna is participating in the elbow joint. We can also see that it's articulating with the head of the radius. We will talk about that a little bit later. Down there we can see that the ulna is a little bit further away from the wrist bones. And that's because there is an articular disc here that serves for better articulation of the ulna and the wrist bones. We will see that shortly. Now let's get back to the upper portion of the ulna and that is close to the uh, elbow. We can see here that humerus is basically articulating with the ulna and it does so by articulating in this semilunar notch. This is the semilunar notch constricted here in the middle. And the radius is articulating in the radial notch and that's basically this articular surface here. This concave shape is created by this process here and that is the olecranon process. And the other process is the coronoid process. The coronoid process enters the coronoid fossa here when the elbow is flexed, when the elbow joint is flexed. And the olecranon process, as you can see, enters this olecranon fossa when the elbow joint is flexed. But that is humerus. We won't talk that much about the humerus anymore. Let's stick to the ulna. Looking at the body of the ulna, we can see the borders already. Well, this would be here the posterior border, because if we look away, that's the posterior one, right? Then we zoom in, and this would be the anterior border. And then we also have this interosseous border here. So it's only natural that these borders actually create the anterior surface, the medial surface, and the posterior surface. Remember, the posterior surface, medial surface, and the anterior surface. On the anterior surface, we can see here the nutrient foramen. On its lateral side, we can see here the supinator ridge, and we can also see the tuberosity of ulna. If we look at the distal part of the ulna, we can see the head of the ulna. The head of the ulna carries the articular surface for the articular disc that we will see shortly. And it also carries the articular surface laterally for the ulnar notch on the radius. If we look at it here, we can see the styloid process projecting more distally than the articulating surface for the disc. These lessons come as part of my software called Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com or you can click here and subscribe for free lessons in the future.